I simply asked this morning if Labour have crossed the line into seriously threatening territory as Boris Johnson and his party wrestle with their own current challenges and as the nation moves out of Covid and hopefully recovery. As Anthony Seldon said, it all depends on Boris Johnson's pursuit of his mojo because the one thing that Labour have not done is absolutely seal the deal with the electorate. That is clear even from the opinion polls. I make no judgment on Boris Johnson or on the Tories. It's all about the choices that you and I are offered by our precious democracy. Choices that are offered by all of the political parties. You may be Tory to your bones or Labour or Liberal Democrat or Green. I don't care. And anyway, it's actually none of my business. What is my business is to report on and discuss the state of our democracy, in which, as the cliché goes, it takes at least two to tango. Having no decent opposition is a seriously dangerous state of affairs. So I'm not diminishing the policy challenges either. Labour's recent claim to be the party of business as it demands a windfall tax on the energy companies will take some squaring. As John McTiernan said, it's a cliché until you embrace competitive markets. That they have not yet done. And John's a Labour man. Sakir's acceptance of Barry Gardner's explanation of funding received from a known Chinese agent left many surprised, to say the least. Oh, he's explained his position and declared it according to the register. Not good enough for very many. And finally, Sakir says his Labour Party has finally moved on from challenging Brexit. On that, the jury is out, whatever my good friend Mike Gapes just said. So it's about policy, it's about personalities, and it's about purpose. Have they got it? I retain my doubts about Sakir, but I'm impressed by several on his new front bench. I think there remain contradictions between some of their policies and their core brand. And I think the hard left are up to seeing themselves still as entryists remaining alive and kicking. So my conclusion, rather like a school report, there are progress points here, but there are problems that remain. Could be better and for democracy's sake, should be a lot better.